So I just finished interviewing Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban's the owner of the NBA team, the Dallas Mavericks, and he's a billionaire from software space. He says he's thinking about running for president in 2024. And it was it was such a cool interview. I uh, I really I just want to cuss and be like, wow, that's how cool it was. So I did it on my new channel, which the link for it's right there down below. It's my new channel. It's called I Love Prosperity. It's more like a it's more like a financial channel. And so the link, it's a personal finance channel to help people succeed in the changing world. So the link is right there down below. If you want to go there, I'll probably post it tomorrow. But I just wanted to say kind of the big takeaway that I got, right? At first I was asking him about the economy and a lot of my concerns that I have and um, the things that I would like to see from uh, people in government. But then the latter two thirds or so was all about how he became a success and sharing all, a lot of his stories and and how he began uh, selling the first stuff. He was selling trash bags, uh, going and knocking on people's front doors when he was a teenager. And it was really just an incredible, incredible interview. And so I wanted to let you know that I'll be posting that here soon. And the link's right there down below in the comments and you can go ahead and subscribe to that channel and i wanted to leave you with the final question that um or the final quote that he said to the interview he was like i was like all right mark you got to give us one one thing in conclusion and he was like all right the only thing that you can control is your mother effort that's the only thing you can control, he said, is your mother freaking effort. And right now, there's a lot of challenging times for a lot of people, a lot of people losing their jobs. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of economic uncertainty. And what I encourage you to do is to watch this interview, especially the second half of it, and to remind yourself a really, really, really simple thing. You cannot control what's happened right now, but you have absolute control over your effort right now. And a lot of people are going to sulk and a lot of people are going to sit around and be mad all day at the politicians. A lot of people are going to play video games all day. A lot of people are going to watch Netflix all day and the time's just going to freaking pass. And he's like, what's going to happen after the economy eventually settles down one day is you're going to go in for a job interview and they're going to say, what did you do during the coronavirus lockdown of 2020? Like, why are you qualified for this job? Why should I give you this job? Could you let me know what did you do during that time period? And if your answer is, I watch Netflix or I sat around and watched the news all day or I played video games all day, he says, you've missed the greatest opportunity of your life. And right now, this is the greatest opportunity of your life because you have nothing to lose anymore. You have nothing to lose about finally going for your goals, finally going for your dreams, finally starting your business, finally doing the thing that you've always wanted to do because there's nothing to lose at this point. Like quite literally, it's like, it can't get that much worse. What's the worst that could happen? And it's a really important message. And so I want to encourage you to watch the interview all the way through and to consider that what's the worst that could happen? What do you have to lose? Nothing. It's time to make it happen. So check the interview out below and I'll see you in the next video.